In this video, I will be sharing my top three tips for starting your own artwork, along with sharing my love of music and process of my painting to help rekindle a little excitement for your own love of art. Starting off this channel, you may have seen my Instagram reel of my mini painting from the song Everywhere Everything by Noah Khan. And in this video, we get to explore more of that painting of mine. Why not start this off the bat with some tips? It all starts with the reference picture. Reference photo is crucial. I know of a lot of artists who just love to paint from their mind, and I'm definitely not saying that that's not a way to go. But with this specific painting I did, a reason why it turned out so well was because I really made sure to prep beforehand. I didn't just let my mind wander. I had a vision, and my vision, in the form of a reference picture, was laid out right in front of me. If you kinda are like me, I don't wanna start something on a blank sheet of paper or on a blank canvas. If I already have a plan laid out for me, I feel more sure of starting it. But with this particular one, sometimes, we can't find the dang reference. Like we have a goal, we have an idea, and it's so infuriate, infuriating that I can't even say the word infuriate. <sighs> Sometimes you have to improvise and you have to make your own reference photo. And here's my process of doing that. So I had one picture that was a photo of grass, but it had feet in it. So I found a different picture of hands holding. With both of these, I was like, oh, if only they could be in the same picture. I did it. Whether using Photoshop or Procreate like I did, you can make your own reference photo by splicing together some things. You can actually toy with the colors and with maybe even the lighting. You kind of get to see the end product before you spend hours of your life doing it. It's probably best for you to have your own reference photo. Nobody can kind of accuse you of, you know, ripping off a specific idea. It just helps your artwork become more original. So what song am I painting right now? Well, you may have already heard of it, but it's called Everywhere Everything by Noah Kahn. I love it because it doesn't feel like a generic love song. Cause like it's, <laughs> Just, just listen to it. The lyrics start out with, would we survive in a horror movie? I doubt it, we're too slow moving and we trust everyone we meet. Like, that's just such an odd way to start off a song, but it feels <laughs> like a legitimate question. It kind of gives me the vibes of like, would you still love me if I was a worm? Okay, what's your zombie apocalypse plan? And which one of ours would actually work? Would you still love me if I lived in my parents' basement? It just sounds like someone talking to their girlfriend. I mean, even friends. I'm just like, would we survive in a horror movie? I don't think so. Even though the song is so down to earth, I feel like it also somehow tackles how big love would feel. I mean, you guys just have to listen to it. I can't put the song in here because <sighs> copyright. So with this song and with these specific lyrics, there are a lot of literal imagery used in the lyrics. So it wasn't too hard for me to find something to paint. I mean, the most obvious choice for me was two hands holding each other, waiting to be food for worms. So romantic. And you probably are already wondering what the heck is happening. The question is, why did I paint it red? One, it takes away the anxiety of blank, especially with larger canvases. This is such a huge help to feel like you've already put something down, you've already started and you can dive in easier. Now, why specifically red? Well. I mean, if we have a color wheel, we've got like red right here, let's say, and green's gonna be right across from it. That is called complementary colors. So if majority of my painting is gonna be green, I did red under it. Why? 
Well, some of it is kind of bound to peek through if I'm not too careful. So when that red does peek through, it gives visual interest. Why did I do it so bright? To be honest, I didn't really understand how annoying it would be to my eyes. It actually was a huge help because it increased my visual awareness. Because it was so bright of a red and the greens I was dealing with were really desaturated, what happened is that I could see where I haven't painted yet. But back to the song. The inspiration for why I chose this specific painting to do was because I was scrolling through Instagram, like I shouldn't be doing, but Noah Khan himself, the artist of this song, he posted a reel that said, why do people text, I love you, instead of everywhere, everything. I wanna love you till we're food for the worms to eat, till our fingers decompose keep my hand in yours. He's got a point, okay? He's got a point. Why don't people do that? I don't know. It's sad. My sister was actually watching that reel with me. A week later, she texted me this. I just had to paint it. I was like, this is the best feeling. And so I just loved the, the intentionality behind all these lyrics and like the weight. And then I have my next tips. When you're starting to do colors, sometimes your brain freaks out and goes, this is not it, this is not it, this is not it. I mean, heck, look at these hands right now. Those colors, they don't look healthy. And there's a point to it because I trusted the colors on my reference. I did not trust my brain because eventually, when it comes to the end and all the colors are next to each other, your eyes calm down and they go, oh, okay, it makes sense. Always make sure to go back to the reference and make sure that you're matching the colors to the reference and not what your brain thinks. Because I know the lyrics say, till our fingers decompose, <laughs> but it started looking like natural form of events already were taking place, which was not the type of vibe I was going for, that's a completely different type of painting. So in this video, we talked about the importance of a reference picture, the three advantages of the underpainting, and then not trusting your brain when it comes to the colors. I will be posting more videos like this every other Monday. I'll see you guys next time.